and welcome. In this tutorial, we will see how to use Substance Designer with Notch. We will start by importing an existing material. To do this, go to Files, Import, Resource, Image, Substance. Choose your material. Drop the material in the node graph and link the material output to your mesh material input. In the substance material, we find all the options of a classic material, but there are two new panels, this one and this one. In this one, you can choose the resolution of the texture. In the second one, there are options specific to each substance material. Here we can change colour, or you can change dirt, or roughness. You can use the same material for all meshes, or you can duplicate it. and change some parameters. Let's import another material Files, Import Resources, Image, Substance. As you can see in this material, there are a lot of new parameters. It's a wood material, and you can change all parameters in real time. To import a material, you can also drop it directly to the node graph. It is now also in the resources. A link to the statue mesh, and we have now a marble material. Let's have a closer look at our object. As you can see, the texture is not very precise. By increasing the resolution, it improves 2K texture or 4K texture. If you aren't viewing close up, it's not necessary to have a high resolution. The resolution is 4K here, but at a lower resolution, artifacts aren't really visible. Many substance materials use displacement. We will see how to use it with Notch. Just import a new material, like this one, and link to the input material. you need to increase the displacement value in the substance material. Go to the displacement normal, increase the displacement value, 
as you can see the result is not great. This is because this plane uses a low subdivision of just 8 by 8. we need to increase the subdivisions. And now we can see the details. One important thing to know about substance materials is that the texture parameters are not exposable when making a block or standalone. The reason is that all textures present in a substance material will be cached when making a standalone or a block. This cache does also increase the size of the standalone or block. That's why it's not surprising that the project file is much smaller than the resulting block. So optimizing your texture sizes as 4K textures isn't always necessary when your object is not close up. We will now see how to make material in Substance Designer and how to export it to Notch. In Designer, go to File, New Substance, choose PBR Metallic Roughness, name it TUTO underscore matte, click OK, and here we have a basic material. Let's make something a bit different. Now we can export this material to Notch. Click here, publish selected element, Name it. Save. And OK. Now in Notch, go to Files, Import, Resources, Image, Substance. And open. Link to the object input material. and we can change the resolution. As you can see, there is no other parameter, only the random seed. It's a basic one from Substance Designer. But before that, let's enable this option, Reflect Resources Change. Every time we make a modification to the source Substance Designer file, it will be automatically updated in Notch. Go to Substance Designer. To expose a parameter to Notch in Substance Designer, click on the node, this one. We want to expose balance, for example. Click on this icon. Expose, OK, and export again. Save, OK. Go back to Notch. And here we have the balance. We can change UV size for better results, like that. We can also add an opacity map. 
go back to Substance Designer. There is no output for the opacity. We need to add one output. And identifier, opacity. Label, opacity, group, material, usage, add item and select opacity. And add something like a tile. We can expose the size Expose Scale OK Export again Go back to Notch Nothing here, no opacity map. So you need to click on the substance material and go to alpha transparency. Select alpha to coverage in alpha mode. Opacity is now working. You can change to double sided. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope it's useful as you use these two pieces of software together.